That'll work. The Tokyo rig in the spring. Pretty good large mount. There we go. You see how he's got it hooked perfectly. No weight in the way. It's about a three pound large mouth here in the springtime. Right on some wood. That's cool. So where we're at right now, you can see um, we've got water kind of up in the trees. And if you were to just come into this area and look around, it, it would seem very overwhelming, the amount of cover that we're looking at. And it can be sometimes hard to determine where to start. And ultimately your goal is to kind of establish a pattern, whether you're fishing to these trees that are standing up vertically um, is the one type of cover we got in here. And then the other type are these trees that have fallen over and they're sitting horizontally. Um, so those are really our two options. And what we've keyed in on so far are these trees that are laying more horizontal. It just seems like that's what they're sitting on. And so it allows us to come through this pocket and target only those trees rather than wasting our time fishing all the other stuff that's standing up vertically. And I think that's so key with fishing in general no matter where you're at, if you're on a natural lake, a reservoir, a river system, you're always looking for something that's a little bit different than um, the majority of, of what's in the area. So if, if you're on a body of water that has a bunch of big boulders, you're probably looking for maybe an area with a bunch of sand and just a couple boulders, or maybe just a little sand patch. If you're fishing a big expansive grass flat, you're looking for little breaks and points and, and bare spots within that grass. And, it's no different in here. We're, we're looking for something a little bit different. Um, and that just happens to be these isolated trees that are laying over horizontal. And that seems to be what they're really relating to in comparison to a vast forest that we have uh, alongside these trees. So when you're fishing this, this horizontal cover and kind of poking down through it, you don't want your bait to really pendulum back. You want it to fall straight down into the cover that you're fishing. This Tokyo rig does a really good job of that. When it falls, it, it's real streamlined. It, it leads with that weight first and the, and the bait follows. So I've got a seven foot medium heavy action rod. It seems like with this seven foot medium heavy and every rod manufacturer has a little bit different medium heavy. Some are a little bit lighter, some are a little bit heavier. This particular one in the Avid series, I really like. It's got enough backbone for me to drive the hook in, but it also has enough bend to fight these fish. It seems like they don't get off nearly as much. We got one pegged here. Tokyo rigs keeping them pegged for us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so guys, we got ourselves all wrapped up in here. And normally when that happens, those fish will peg your bait up against that stick and pull right off. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Tokyo rig still got them pegged. A little bit heavier rod in that situation that wouldn't give so much when that fish is fighting on there. This thing might have a better tendency to pop off. With rod, this rod that gives a little bit more, you know, we were able to get up in there pretty quick. I am throwing pretty heavy line. I've got suffix 20 pound advanced fluoro on right now, which I think is a big, big deal when you're fishing around this heavy cover, especially wood. I prefer fluorocarbon over braid. It doesn't seem to dig into the wood so much, which you can, you can see that we were wrapped up pretty good there, but it actually wasn't dug into the wood itself. Um, 
which I think is a big deal also to keeping them pegged when they get wrapped up like that. If that braid digs in, they've got more leverage to try and pull out of there. With that fluorocarbon, you could see it would stretch and allow them to swim off a little bit, which is a little bit less likely for you to lose that fish. So. They're like on every one of these in here. All right, another Tokyo rig right in the nose, right where you want it, right on the end of that lay down. A little pre-spawn fat chunk. With this Tokyo rig, the, the kind of the, the key part of it is that this is free swinging and it, and it moves and that allows your bait some more action. And in order to keep that free swinging motion, you don't want to thread a ton of plastic on up front here. And I'll show you what I mean, but I only go about halfway. So you just get a little bit of plastic above this keeper and that allows your bait to not cover up this ring which is where the free swinging action comes from. So if you were to thread too much plastic on there, it would get above that ring and it would kind of defeat the purpose of this, this um, free action. So you only want to thread on them just a little bit there and um, that'll do the trick for you. So when I'm flipping wood, you've got a lot of um, tree branches, you got a lot of junk floating around in these things. And you want a bait that's gonna allow you to be efficient and get in and out of that cover as fast as possible without getting hung up. And so I typically like a bait without a lot of appendages. This happens to be a beaver style bait. It doesn't have anything that's flaring out, um, nothing up here at the top part. So you're able to get in and out of that cover real quickly. And um, whenever I'm flipping wood, whether it's springtime, summer, fall, that's just a little tip to keep you a little bit more efficient uh, when you're fishing this type of cover is Pick something without a lot of appendages and uh, you're gonna have less frustration, you're gonna have less hangups. And um, it'll just allow you to keep your bait in the water more, which ultimately will hopefully result in catching more fish. Whoa. But I haven't missed the fish today that's actually eating the bait. Another decent little river fish. Tokyo rig on some horizontal cover. And you can kind of see just how different that cover is compared to all these other flooded trees up on the bank. It's very isolated. It's a very high percentage spot. Um, it's a great spot for a fish to be living. 